Hi, here we are going to try to extract some data from a chart using a little bit of image processing and a few tricks and tips. So what we got here is uh, a YouTube video uh, and the numbers of views over time. So let's assume we just want this data behind this chart of some mysterious reason. The salesman's like, what up? What's your budget? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know nothing about mopeds. He said, I got the one for you. Follow me. Ooh, it's too real. Calm down, me. So I we took a no print screen of that chart, and uh, now we will open it in MATLAB. Okay. So this image called A here has a size 234 times 825 pixels. And... Uh, to describe this picture, we need red, green, and blue. So that's what these uh, white three layers of the same size of the picture. So what we want to do now is to remove everything but this green line. In doing so, it's enough. I, I think we if we just look at one layer, in this case it's uh, blue. Let's call it A3. We will see it's a lot of 255. That is when it's completely white. And if we scroll down, we might s and you see this spike here is uh, where the green lines come in, green line come in. What we can do then is to put a threshold value to everything which is beyond a certain number, 100 I took here, is removed. So let's do that. Okay, so here we go. So here we have only these uh, green lines. Now it's, it's just black and white, but that doesn't matter. So what we want to do now is to remove the end tails here with no data outside the chart, so to say. We can do that by look which columns only have, uh, are completely white or have the number 255 and then remove them. So it looks like that. Now what now we will need the dates here. So actually these dates we converted them with date num into a number. The first number will be the first day and the second number will be the third column and so forth. We want to figure out where on the y-axis, meaning number of views, we are at each day. We can use the unique here, would be quite useful. And we try with the first x value, the first day. See what we end up with. This b value then, what will that be? It will be 884. So what actually is that? If we go into the a3, we can the first number, the unique number, is the first one here, you know, the first time it's 255. Then if we scroll down to uh, 184, we will find this value, which are actually the green line, which is black here, by the way. So then we know the position of that line for the first day. So let's try, let's, let's run, uh, do a loop through all the days on this. And we end up with uh, something which is proportional to the views for every day. So then it's a little bit of geometry left, and we have to rescale it. And when we have done that, so now we have the data here. It should be in views. It should be the numbers we were looking for. Let's plot it and see how it looks like. Okay, it looks right. So w what's the point with this, <laughs> right? <laughs> we have just reconstructed the same plot again. But let's say you want to do something with the which requires the data. In this case, uh, we have uh, I extrapolated these trends for another 300 days. Let's see how that looks like. Looks like that. Okay, pretty cool. Going 38, Dan, chill the fuck out. Mow your damn lawn and sit the hell down. If I only had one helmet, I would give it to you. Give it to you.
closing down Broadway, girl. What a wonderful view.